Hey, this is Alina from Tankspot, and since Laura already broke the ice with its weekly marmot project, I figured I'd do a little introductionary video myself. As you can see, I'm not a robot, a guy using a voiceover program, a transvestite, nor any other cool life form, which is a pity really, but I'm just a regular WoW player just like all you guys out there. Now, I thought I'd go ahead and answer some of the more commonly asked questions that people seem to throw at me. First question, where are you from? What's with the accent? Uh, I was born in Germany and lived here until I was 20 years of age. Then I moved to Canada in November 06. And currently I am back in Germany, so you may hear the accent flare up a little more in current projects. That also means I neither try to fake an accent nor try to hide it. It's just there and it's too stubborn to go away, so I deal with it and you might as well. Uh, before questions about my heritage pop up now that you've seen me, as far as I can trace back my family tree, they are all German. So nothing exotic here, I'm sorry. Um, second question, how long have you been playing WoW and what characters do you play? I started playing WoW back in vanilla as a night elf restoration druid actually. But I hit a brick wall when that druid hit 60 and I no longer had anything to do. So I quit World of Warcraft for about 6 months. Then I picked it back up when the Burning Crusade came out and I have been playing my priest since. Um, I cleared all content in Burning Crusade on her and also all current content in Wrath of the Lich King. Um, I also have some ults, namely an AT Restoration Druid. Um, an 80 Warlock that I named GLaDOS, and a 71 Death Knight and a 70 Hunter that I may or may not play again. Um, yes, I do play my own characters, yes, I take my own footage, I write my own scripts and I direct my own movies. Um, I have my own YouTube channel that I used to make strategy videos on, but I ceased to when Sider approached me about joining Project Marmot. Um, you may have seen my old stuff around, you may not, but either way that's actually me and not stolen from Tank Spot or anything like that. Um, I raid with the with the guild Void on the Muxol US server. They're a bunch of really cool guys, so check us out if you're a quality player that has cleared all current content and is looking for a quality guild. What else? Right, my UI. I do have my whole UI up for download on wowinterface.com and you can find a link to that in my tank spot signature but as it happens I still get daily questions about it so let me give you a rundown of the basics. So this is me standing around at the Warsaw Gold portal. Um, let's start on my UI. These up here are Strina's buff frames. They're the the best buff frames out there I find. Um, you can put them anywhere on your screen. You can make up to was it 49? A whole lot of different bars uh, to show different buffs that you find important for your playing style. You can for example put uh, different pop-ups right in the middle of your screen if you want to. Uh, I use something else for that. I use power auras which I'm sure you've seen pop up Power Auras is my HUD. Everybody loves it. It's a really, really, really good uh, HUD. You can choose the texture you want. You input the name of the buff that you want to show up. And uh, you can edit the options. You can add timers. For example, let's say I get a surge of light proc. Um, of course, now I'm not going to get one. See, that's my three stack serendipity, for example, there. That's my search of light proc. Uh, just adds symbols and wherever you want to put them that should show you really quickly what kind of proc you're getting or what you should be paying attention to. I really like that. Um, my player and target frames are Pitbull, but the old one, Pitbull 3. Um, I like Pitbull because it's very customizable. I use Pitbull for my focus frame as well. Then I use Quartz 
for the spell casting bit. Uh, I'm sure you know quartz to look a little different because it's really ugly when you first get it. But you can really, really, really customize it to what you want it to look like. See, mine's just kind of semi-transparent, layered over my paper frames. Um, and of course, I edited the fonts and the background because I always do. For that, I use Clear Font 2. It just adds a whole bunch of fonts to your uh, to your interface that are really neat, and um, it just looks whole lot clearer and crisper as you can see in my bags the fonts are just not as drippy as, as the default fonts would be my bars dominoes uh, dominoes lets you have up to 10 bars that you can do whatever you want with um, those are my hidden bars I have my um, all my keybinds behind those that I know what, where they are, so I don't need to see them. And those are just my main bars. I like keeping my main bars around because it just makes it easier for me. And if I have to kill myself and don't want to take durability, I click Shadow or Death, for instance. Um, okay, so we have that, we have that, we have that. My chat add-on would be Pratt. I really like Pratt. Uh, it takes up a lot of memory, so if your FPS tends to be bad, you may be better off with Chatter or similar chat add-on. Now that we have the big ones, this will be my most important one. This is Grid. Grid is my raid add-ons. I like keeping them in the middle of the screen. Oh, see, this is Power Hour, Power Hours too. It's telling me that my inner fire isn't up. I like to forget it. Anyway, this is Grit. Um, grit shows me a whole lot of, lot of things. For example, when people are out of my range to heal, they fade out. So I know to run after them. Um, grit has a whole lot of add-ons available to download. Mana bars, for instance, you see them down here. Or uh, for DKs, the runic power and whatnot. Um, Grit has one really, really, really important add-on. This will be Grit status rate debuff. Let's say you're an Olvar and you're fighting um, Kologarn and someone gets stone gripped. Now, when you have Grit status rate debuffs, the person or the people that get stone gripped will have an icon pop up right in the middle of their screen, right there, uh, of their box that says they're being stone gripped, so you can react to that instantly and heal them instead of looking around for, oh my god, who got stone gripped, who do I heal? Um, so that is really neat. Also, it shows you different stuff like slide pod on Ignis and, you know, just, just really, really useful things. The stack numbers on uh, Gormok, tank stacks and whatnot. It's cool. So if you use Grit, if you're comfortable using Grit, you should get it. Um, also shows you who has aggro, I put something for prayer of mending, um, all those things, as you can see, it's down here, death warnings, mana bars, everything, it's just really cool. Some people like to add click to it, I personally do not, just grid is enough for me. Um, other people prefer heal bot, you know, it's it's up to what you're comfortable with. This is just what I like. Huh, anything else? This down here is recount, of course. And then we also have class timer down here. Class timer I just use to show my procs <clears throat> and to see what my target has procs. For example, inspiration on the tanks. Um, that kind of thing. This up here is Titan panel. And I also use deadly boss mods. And that about concludes my UI, I would say. So, I hope you enjoyed that little insight to me and my UI. And uh, that's all for now. I'm sure I'll find something to talk about again sometime in the distant future. And until then, I hope you enjoy my videos. And I'll see you around.